did not expect this at the end of our 50k walk. What's up guys, another video this week. I'm here on the west side of the Huangpu River getting ready for a 50 kilometer walk today. We're gonna to be going up and down the Huangpu River, but first we're waiting for our buddy Paul who's about to rock up in a cab. Well, there he is. How's it going? Hey, pretty good, you ready for this? Yeah, yeah, everybody's <laughs> got their cameras. So I'm not a big cherry blossom guy, but everybody freaks out about the cherry blossoms. So let's, yeah, there's still cherry blossoms. It, it, yeah. So I know it doesn't look like it, but it is spring. Square dancing going on here. No, this is a pretty cool walk so far. Besides how cold it is, it's good. I think it's okay, but he's from Australia, so. It's quite cool. Uh, one thing I'm really keen on in this hike is like, I have no idea what we're gonna run into. I've done bits and pieces of the this walk as you have as well. Like, you know how there's like a fake military ship up there that's oh, on yeah, land? Yeah. Like cool stuff like that. But like, I've probably in total only walked about 10% of this thing. Yeah, so, I've actually ran along this a lot of, a lot of the, like many, many times. So this is, I feel like the first kind of landmark of the hike. Yeah, but I, I don't have the cool G. Okay. Hey. Oh yeah, so I guess like a lot of people come here on the weekends to jog. I've seen lots of like every, of course people come and jog, but what I'm saying is like they come in groups and they have like little teams. I live too far away. I'll put a view of it since we started the walk, right? Yeah, but and it's gonna look really small on the GoPro. It is gonna, yeah, because of the super view, right? Yeah. So we've still got, and we're gonna do 10 more of those. Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel? Oh, we, we've walked five kilometers. <laughs> yeah, 5.2, What do you, how do you feel? Oh, I feel, I feel really good, but I feel like after 20, you'll start to know what part of your body is gonna get tired Yeah, today. exactly. At this point in time, everything's fine, right? If you've got a problem now, it's like, all right, maybe you're not gonna be able to do 50K. Yeah. Right. So we've made it all the way to the Nampudachiao. Still probably, let's figure out how far. All right, Paul, guess how far we are. Oh, I looked, sorry. Oh, 7.4K. 7.4K. Oh. We We're going out here. Oh, I think we just keep walking. I mean, you want it? If it goes, it keeps going, right? All right, right behind me, we're, we're walking right by the Mercedes-Benz Arena, which uh, we're only about like eight, 9K into our hike, but that's where when the UFC comes or the NHL comes or if... This kid is clearly training. Well, so we're actually 10K in, so actually we're a fifth of the way done. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. Nice. So there's 40, so basically a marathon left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For I, walking. I still feel really good. Yeah, of course. 11K in and that's the real Nan Puda Chow. Okay, so the one back there must have been the another Chow. Pushing, always pushing personal bets. Sorry. Oh, we've we've made it to Yocha Mato. I've been here a few times, but uh, we're gonna start getting to the famous part of the bun soon, which we did a video about a while back. You done big guys. Well, we made it to the famous part of the skyline and the touristy part of the bond next. And then eventually they start to start making bang. Okay, so we've made it to where the actual tourist part of the bond actually begins. We're uh, 15K into the walk, but now is the like the bond bond part. Oh, Paul, what are some of the trips that we're gonna take in the next couple of weeks, next couple of videos? Seven peaks. Seven peaks, we're gonna do that in April, Seven Peaks is a huge like challenge. Uh, hopefully we can head on uh, up to Zhengzhou. Oh yeah. This year. Paul's like, been wanting to go to Zhengzhou for a long time. Yeah. Long time. I don't know if you can see, but it's about 10 kilometers away. There's a bridge there. That's where we're gonna cross over into the Pudong side and then begin the hike all the way back. All right, we are officially like at the North Bund. I don't know if it's called the North Bund, but it's the north end of the Bund. I didn't think it was gonna end so abrupt because I wanna film little clips. All right, we're getting closer to the bridge and under it is a ferry and we're gonna take it over and we're gonna say goodbye to Pussy and we're gonna head over to the Pudong side, but I'm starving. So we're gonna go find some food, yeah? Yes. It got really industrial really quick. Oh 
23 kilometers and I'm starving. We still got another 27 kilometers left in our hike today, but we're not finishing that unless we get some lunch. All right, we're in Pudong. Halfway down our walk. All right, we just walk straight. Here's some of our dishes. All worth it. Mm. Belly's full. 27 kilometers to go, 27 clicks. So I think, I was about to say the road probably winds more, but, and it's maybe longer, but who knows. Oh, we actually are over 25K, so we're more than halfway down our walk today, and we're, now we're on the Pudong side, we're heading south down the butt. Oh, look. Well, despite the fact that we've obviously been looking at it for the last, Three, three to four hours. The bond really looks different down up here. And uh, considering how different the different sections of the other side were this morning, I think that we're gonna see a lot of variation on this side too. Video there. Yeah. The Strava will keep going. The Strava I'll, I'll keeps going. 30K in, I'm starting to feel, oh, the bottom of my feet are starting to get a little bit sore. I got a little bit of pain in my lower back, but that's about it. Am I? My joints and my knees are fine. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Okay, so now, being on this side of the river, we're much closer to the Shanghai Tower and the Oriental Pearl Tower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, right? How do we get down there? We can't. Yeah. 30K later, and we're on the other side. More than halfway done. Oh, good times. Or maybe we can still buy tickets. Your hands are like shaking, you're like, dude, let's buy the tickets. <laughs> About this on, on YouTube, he's like, if lightsabers are not heavy, there's no need to do this. <laughs> we are well into the final third of the hike today because there's the Nambu Bridge that we saw earlier this morning. How, how long have we been? Uh... 33.7. Uh, how many, how many? Uh... Oh, uh, seven and a half hours. Seven and a half hours, so. Yeah, it's been a long day, but we're not even close. I, I, oh, I overestimated. We're well, le we're not on the final third yet. Yeah, it's probably the last we're gonna see of the downtown right now. Yeah. I think it's a lot. No, no, just because we're passing this. Yeah, it's quite far away. I think, I think we'll be over 40k by the time we get to the following bridge. I hope so. Yo, you sin. Okay, so we've seen a lot of weird things uh, and just a lot of changes throughout this entire walk. We've just come by Mercedes-Benz Arena. Now this morning we saw there was tons of people out and I'm gonna show you in a second, but the demograph has all gone to like young girls. So we estimate that it is like the, the super fans and there's some, some person who's famous here that I would have no idea who they are and everybody's gathered to like hopefully catch a glimpse of them. That's probably what this is. Oh, yeah, so Yo, you should. Oh, yeah. Yo, you should. Holy guacamole! Look at all these people. I should ask someone who these people are because I have no idea. Oh, it goes forever. This is the red team. This is the orange team. That's the yellow team. That's the blue team. I thought it would be over, but there's more people down there supporting the red team and the orange team. I guess the red team represents one guy. Uh, Jason, Jason what? Jason Yu. I not expect this at the end of our 50k walk. We still have 10 kilometers left and the, each kilometer is getting harder and harder. 
six hours ago, we saw all these people were still here. I know, that's true, six hours ago. We were on the other side of the river. All right, we are out of the crowd. We're away from the people and we are continuing our walk. Okay, so we're back to the first bridge and that's the one that I falsely told you was the Nampudachau when in fact, it's the Lupudachau. I don't want to have the onion drugs. Uh, the, the Purong side of the West Bund, I guess you call it South Bund, I don't even know anymore, but it's really nice. It's kind of like a, a little bit like a wetlands, like a mini wetlands, it looks like it. Like going to, I was also thinking if I go to Liaoning, I'm... So, you probably can't see, but we have to go all the way there. And according to our plan, we still have seven and a half kilometers left, but it might even be farther, because now we're winding around, so. Okay, so there's like a corner. We have to go all the way around that corner. We're definitely going to end up walking more than 50k. These final five kilometers are going to be really, or final seven kilometers are going to be hard. My, my joints are hurting now. These are all the things that I started experiencing after 20 kilometers, but like they were, they were very tolerable. Right. You know this is coming. Yeah. Like you know you will be in this position later where you're not enjoying it. It, you're tired and you're like this is a bad idea like I don't think it's a bad idea but like after doing cycle trips a million times you definitely think like why do I keep doing this it is officially night ain't no ain't no sun hanging around it is anymore officially not. I, I can put yeah it the lights are on the GoPro footage is probably gonna get a little bit more shaky yeah so we've gone from daylight to sunlight and then we started in the morning yeah, we started, I guess I got there around 820. Yeah, right? there's the highway, the bridge for the highway that was like right where we started. Oh, we are nearing the end. We're at the ferry now. Right. Okay, so Paul, uh, we're almost done the hike. Let's take time on the boat to like share your thoughts. Absolutely. Overall, summarize the hike. Uh, it was a good hike. Um, the first 20Ks were easy, obviously. Now we're both obviously a little bit fatigued. We're, we're, uh, we're tired, we want to get home. Um, sites were cool. If you're in Shanghai, why not, right? Obviously there's no, no hiking around here, which is the reason why we wanted to do it. Yeah, all I'll say is, yeah, after 30K or after 20K, it just got progressively harder and harder. Um, but one thing that shocked me was how different the different sections of the, of the bond were, so. Just over two kilometers left, and uh, this boat will help a little bit. All right, we've arrived back where we started, but we're short of 50k. I'm dead, but we gotta do it. We gotta 50K? walk. 50k? I said I'm short of 50k. Oh, I thought you were like, we're short by 50k. <laughs> no, I'm short, short, sh short the 50k. We need to do another few kilometers. So, oh. We did it. We're back where we started. All right, well, we're back where we started. We're gonna walk another kilometer or so to finish our Strava, but I think now's a good time to end the video. So if you're ever in Shanghai and you wanna check out the Bund, you don't need to check out all of it because different sections are beautiful. If you're wondering, should I do a 50K walk? You should do it at least once. All right, so I'll catch you in the next video. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm just kidding. Ah.